Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in on my channel, Creating in the Waiting. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic Monday, that they had a very happy weekend, and they are creating what brings them joy. Today I am going to be working on a paper snippet for the single signature slimline that I've been working on. Um, favorite sorry silk. The cover is not done yet. Um, I did a kind of what I've been working on this morning. A little corner hugger there. Let's see. Working with Live Supper After Kit. So I've back to back I've done three journals that are pretty similar. Um, one I raffled, I love this. Put some gold guild around the playing cards and the library card. But one I raffled in my group, one was um, an order, and then this is an order also. So, paper or this is a fabric snippet, and I want to do a paper snippet. Made this really pretty banner paper clip. It was the Savage Take 5 in my group. This is just pinned in here. What was I going to do my paper snippet? Right here. So I want the whole thing to cover, you know, I want it to be the length of the page. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, well, if you see me cover the bases of these flip-flops, this is a piece that was remaining. Um, or not just flip-flops, uh, my envelopes. I'm just going to tear this page just kind of play with this some um, let's see how long I need it to be going to be using probably some music sheets also. Maybe some French book pages. Mm, let's see. over here. Those weren't going to be wide enough. This one. Alright, so I know that I want it this length. Now I can move my journal and just really kind of focus on my snip. All this is trash. So I've cut out some butterflies, roses, and three little sentiments. I'm gonna ink these up some. And I'm going to be sewing mine together, so I'm just going to use my Scotch Permanent Glue to kind of get these attached. And then we'll work on some layering on top of it. Try not to overthink this. It's kind of like a masterboard. It can be 
very therapeutic and fun once we stop overthinking. I kind of like them to go in different directions. Before I forget, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, for being here. If you're not a subscriber, consider doing so. Please hit like and comment so that I know that you're here. If this is your first time watching, thank you for hopping on. So these are the little butterflies and roses. Just gonna ink my sentiments up some. Before I start putting any of these down, I'm gonna sew around my paper because I like the way that it looks. out of brown thread so once I'm done with this journal I have an order for an Alice I printed most of the pages so I'm gonna come on and kind of do that a little bit with you guys just gonna alternate between a zigzag and a straight wonky stitch If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do faux stitching where you draw the lines or they do have stamps on Amazon. I used to use the stamps before I started sewing. They do work pretty well. So we have this base part of the snippet done. If you have master boards, these would look really, you know, the master boards could start your snippet also. And they would already kind of look, you know, fun. Um, what I'm going to start doing is just kind of gluing these little bits together the way I think I want them. So I really like these little fun edges. From some of my music sheets. If you have a cinch punch, 
it'll do that too. I'm going to ink that up also. Just kind of playing with how I might want that. This glue is just getting my little pieces kind of attached. I am going to sew around my little words also. If you want to put cheesecloth or something up underneath the sentiments, you can do that also. I think I'm going to put cheesecloth underneath the the white music sheet just kind of inking that up those. I'm looking to see if I have, I don't really want to tear any more of my music sheet. Gonna lift that and get some glue on the word. All right, so let's just kind of play. I'm gonna grab. Hopefully just some little bits. I might actually just cut a piece so I'm not digging through. That should work. I might want some lace. I'm not gonna cut that. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for a cluster. I'm like down to the minimal pickings on my blue laces. And I wanna make clusters from those. This should be good for laces. Okay, so let's just see how we might want this. I want them 
gonna pop that thick, so I'm not gonna use that one. And I'm probably going to do a zigzag stitch down through the middle of those. And when I glue this down, I might glue it down as a tuck. I'm just using ground espresso and this is actually just distress oxide So the lace that I'm putting on here is pretty much an afterthought. So I typically would have put my lace down and then sewed around, but this will be fine. And that glue is just, you know, getting it down. Let's go ahead and sew. I'm just going to do a straight stitch through those, or a zigzag. see where I might want my butterflies to be. Well, actually, let's just see where I want everything to be.
cute. So I feel like I don't really want anything underneath the butterflies. I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. And I'm going to try to pop them up like this one kind of up underneath that. Um, I'm going to leave this up because I want this one right here up underneath the music sheet. I get my cheesecloth from Huckleberry Sky on Etsy. She has unbleached and tea stained and she has it in three different grades. It's just, you know, the weight of the cheesecloth determining how it will, you know, tear apart for you. just gluing the rest of my butterfly down you can leave it to where it you know pops or whatever I don't necessarily really like doing that because it ends up getting smashed regardless And again, I'm going to sew around the word. Get that little piece down. Let's go ahead and glue this butterfly down. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm, I want any blingies on these butterflies. You know, straight down the middle. some because I want this down. I feel like I actually want to try to move this up some. Okay. 
So I'm going to sew around the words and then I'm going to see if I want to put any blings on the butterflies, but that's what we have so far. I'm grabbing my blingies. If you have speckles, you can use speckles also or liquid pearls. I always smash those. So it's been a long time since I've used those. Do blinkies on the butterflies. I can actually glue those down right now. I'm just going to use my beacon three in one in hopes to not make a mess with it. I feel like it should be fine though. stringies. Mm. Okay, I don't have, I'm grabbing the closest thing to me and this is what it was. I was going to grab a stick pen, but this is the closest thing to me. So I'm hoping to just get some of the glue. There in the center of the butterflies and throw this thing away. It worked out. Cute. this up. I mean, if you use that for this, that'll go a long way. Now, let's sew around the words. because I don't I don't want to stitch there. I'm going to do a stitch down this way.
cutting some of these little scraggly pieces from the um, thread in the back. We have our snippet piece. That's cute. Let's put it on our page. May or may not do a tuck. So, let's see if this is better. And then, or you could, you know, do it straight in the middle of your page. I like these off to the side, kind of, especially in this slim line. And I'm going to glue it down as a tuck, so it's optional. So that is it. And then you have a little tuck back there. And then also, you know, just did an, um, wonders to the page. This is, I actually really, really do like this image though. So a lot of times I struggle because I like the pages so much. I don't really want to do too much to them. This is one of our little page huggers here. Been making, you know, just little um, fabric sewn clusters got some vintage ephemera tucked away back there gonna do the beading down at the bottom make a few more pieces of ephemera for her the cover this is one of our little tab hidden paper clips little corner hugger so I call these corner huggers these I just call corner tucks. These are our Let's Make It Mondays. These are our page huggers. Some people do them similar and they call them page wraps. Uh, banner paper clip. Little snippets. I really, really love doing my playing cards like that. It's got the gold gilding. I'm going to make a little tab here and do some embellishing here, maybe a cluster here. Find a lovely charm to put on her closure and then do the cover and then this little journal will be done for her. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment. Bye guys.